The Tokyo Olympic Games are just 45 days away, and Team USA's men's basketball roster is changing. Superstars LeBron James and Anthony Davis both declined an invitation after the Lakers' first round playoff loss. And The Athletic is reporting Steph Curry is currently 50-50 on whether or not he will attend and be part of this year's Team USA. The U.S., the reigning three-time gold medal winners for men's basketball, but that streak could be in jeopardy without some of those top players joining the team. With us tonight to discuss players opting out of the games is ESPN analyst Brooke Weisbrod. Brooke, appreciate your time. I think let's begin with why uh, they aren't going to participate. Was it a tough season? Was it injuries? Was it something more? Well, right now, the reason, I mean, the reason LeBron James and, and Anthony Davis aren't participating is LeBron has a very lingering ankle issue that you know, we saw affect his game in the playoffs. And Anthony Davis could only put together, you know, five or six minutes in the last game that he played. And, you know, I hate to say at LeBron's age because it seems like he, he doesn't, he just defines age and time. But at his, his age, he has to make sure his ankle is a priority for the remaining season. Anthony Davis with a groin injury, those take months to heal. So, you know, for those two players who we would love to see play for Team USA, their health has to be their priority. And to fly to Japan to put their bodies through that stress and that test of putting them back out there on the floor against the world's greatest players is not going to do any any service to them and, and their bodies to get them ready for next season. Yeah, and LeBron went on to say it's been a draining season emotionally, physically, mentally, you name it, during the pandemic, playing in the bubble. Is there a lot of pressure on athletes to participate if they're given the invite to try to go and represent America? I, I think each individual ma person makes their own decision, right? But I mean, it's an honor. I mean, what an honor to be able to play for your country and represent not only yourself, but your teammates and bring home that gold medal. So I think it's it's a good pressure and it's one that they want to have on them. Obviously, the bigger concern is what are the safety measures being t you know ha had and what is Japan doing to make sure that there's a bubble-like environment for the players to be able to be safe, make sure that there's... Uh, adequate testing there's that there's totally just great facilities for them to be able to go about their day go to practice and then to feel safe that's just the most important thing right now and what i'm hearing which is actually surprising to me is that some teams in in professional sports are saying to their athletes we don't want you to get vaccinated because we think it'll compromise your performance that was just shocking to me mm. And Japan is not, as, as far as I know, not requiring athletes to be vaccinated. And we have to think about, of course, the supplies in, in these other countries. Are they even available to some of these athletes? So you're gonna have a potential mix of vaccinated and unvaccinated athletes participating together. And to me, that's a huge concern, but we're also talking about billions of dollars. Japan is full go with these uh, Olympics, so is NBC. They're on. Now it's about how can we provide a safe environment for them to compete. Well, let's say Steph Curry goes. He's 50-50. You've got some of the other top players in the country. If they're available to go, what do you think the USA's chances are in winning another gold this year, the makeup of the team currently? Well, it's going to be interesting what the final roster is because when the due date uh, for the finalized roster to be submitted to the Olympics is right at the time of the end of the conference finals, beginning of the finals. So we're not sure yet which athletes are even going to feel like they can carry their bodies throughout the summer and participate in the Olympics because they still might be playing in the finals. You know, you've got Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Kawhi Leonard, and some of these other guys who are saying, you know, hold on, let me see how I feel. I definitely want to be in the Olympics and I have to see how my body feels at that time. Well, we know they'll field a good team. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see who ends up on that roster, but we're all going to be rooting for Team USA. Brooke, always good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.